Hello, Desi Stars! Cuddle up and get ready to read a giant bedtime story with me. If you're new to the Desi Stars family, welcome! And please subscribe because my library is full of books I'd love to read to you. Today, we're going to read Jack and the Beanstalk. Retold by Ronnie Randall. Illustrated by Gavin Scott. Once, there was a boy named Jack who lived with his mother. They were very poor and had to sell their cow to get money for food. As he was taking the cow to market, Jack met an old man. You won't get much money for such an old cow, he told Jack. But I can give you something better than money for her. Magic beans! He held out his hand and showed Jack five speckled beans. Magic beans! thought Jack. They sound exciting! He gave the old man the cow and took the beans, thanking the man politely. Then he went home to his mother. Jack's mother was extremely cross. Silly boy, she shouted. Thanks to you, we have no cow and no money. She threw the beans out of the window and sent Jack straight to bed. Do you see the picture of Jack and the cow on the wall? The next morning, Jack was astonished when he looked out of the window. A giant beanstalk had sprung up while he was sleeping, and it stretched up to the sky. Jack ran outside and began to climb the beanstalk. Up and up he went, higher and higher, till he reached the top. There he found a road, which led to a big house. Jack's tummy was rumbling with hunger, so he knocked on the large wooden door. A giant woman answered. She looked kind, and Jack asked if she would give him some breakfast. You will be breakfast if my husband finds you, she told Jack. He's much bigger than me, and he eats children. But Jack begged and pleaded, and at last the woman let him in. She gave him some bread and milk and hid him in a cupboard. Soon, Jack heard loud footsteps and felt the cupboard shake. The giant man was coming. Jack heard him roar. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Don't be silly. You smell the sausages I cooked for your breakfast. Now sit down and eat. After wolfing down three plates of sausages, the giant asked his wife to bring him his gold. She brought him two big sacks filled with gold coins, which the giant began to count. But he was sleepy after his big breakfast and soon began to snore. Jack crept out of the cupboard and grabbed one of the sacks. Then he rushed out of the house along the road and straight down the beanstalk. Oh no, he took it. Jack's mother was overjoyed to see him and she was even happier when she saw the gold. They lived well while the money lasted, but after a year it had all been spent. Once again, Jack and his mother had nothing to eat. Don't worry, mother, said Jack. I'll just go back up the beanstalk to the giant's house. And so he did. Just as before, Jack knocked on the door and begged the giant's wife for something to eat. Go away, she told him. The last time you were here, a sack of gold disappeared. 
my husband was really cross. But once again, Jack begged and pleaded, and at last, she let him in. She gave him some bread and milk and hid him in the cupboard. Soon, the giant stomped in, bellowing. fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Nonsense, said the giant's wife. You smell the yummy soup I've made for your lunch. Peeping through a crack in the cupboard door, Jack saw the giant slurp down a big barrel full of soup and heard him tell his wife, Bring me my hen. She put a fat red hen on the table, and the giant shouted, Lay! To Jack's amazement, the hen laid a golden egg. Jack waited until the giant was asleep. Then he jumped out and snatched the hen. Fast as lightning, he dashed out of the house, along the road, and down the beanstalk. Oh no, he took that too. Jack and his mother lived very well on the money they made from the hen's golden eggs. But Jack wanted to climb the beanstalk one last time. He knew the giant's wife would not let him in again. So when she wasn't looking, he sneaked into the house and crawled into the cupboard. Before long, the giant came crashing in. fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. He thundered. You smell the steaks I've cooked for your dinner, his wife said. And she put a platter of thick, juicy steaks in front of him. After gobbling up the steaks, the giant took out a golden harp and said, Sing! The harp played a gentle lullaby, and soon the giant was fast asleep. Jack sprang out, took the harp, and began to run. But the harp cried, Master! Master! And the giant woke up. With a roar! He leapt up and ran after Jack. Uh-oh, do you think he'll catch Jack and get all his stuff back? Holding the harp tightly, Jack ran for his life. As he scrambled down the beanstalk, he yelled, Mother, mother, bring the axe! Jack took the axe and started to chop down the beanstalk. The giant quickly climbed back up to the top before it snapped in two. That was the last time Jack saw him. With the hen and the harp, Jack and his mother were able to live happily ever after, and they were never hungry again. The End If you enjoyed this book, you too can have your own copy. Just use the link in my description box below to know where you can get it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a good friend. I just can't wait to read to you again. Until next time, Desi Stars.